Hello, this is Bursa Uludağ University's Contribution to the Society with Sustainability Projects presentation. I will start with an introduction about the university's role in sustainability. Then I will continue about the sustainability activities of Turkish universities. The sustainable the activities of Bursa Da University will take the third place in my presentation. And I will conclude with several projects of the university for society. We all believe that university has a significant role in sustainability for society. In 1972, it was Stockholm Convention in United Nations Conference on Human Environment. The urgency of global environmental challenges were underlined. In 1990s, universities decided to take more responsibility for sustainability. And in 1990, university leaders signed the Taylor's Declaration now there are 520 universities who signed this declaration as of 2021. In 1993, 90 universities signed the Kyoto Declaration, which underlines the role of university partnering with all segments of the society. Let's have a look at the impact of Turkish universities. There are 129 public universities in Turkey and 75 private universities. 90% of the students study in public universities. The total number of university students make, makes 8.2 million. And we know that nearly 10% of the population in Turkey are university students. And 72% of the public universities make efforts towards sustainability. Common activities are mostly on zero waste and green spaces. And they show an increasing interest in green metric ranking system. Bursa Uludağ University started the Sustainable Campus Project in April 2021. And you see the goals towards sustainable development at the campus. And the vision was put as Bursa University wants to be a new university that cherishes, that leaves sustainability in all research, educational and campus operational activities. There are large green spaces at Bursa University and more than 55% of these fields are covered with forests. We calculated the carbon absorption potential of these carbon sinks at our university, at our campus area, and found that more than 1,000 tons, 1,195 tons carbon dioxide equivalent are absorbed yearly by those trees at the campus, which is nearly, which offsets nearly 200 people's annual emissions in Turkey. A quick look to some of our sustainability projects. Project one is about waste collection and conversion at the campus. Step one, was taking some photos of the polluted regions at the campus area. We invited the local community and our campus community to take photos of the polluted regions. And we asked them to write their feelings, write some compositions and send them to our office. And then we organized a workshop to teach the volunteers how to convert recyclable materials into objects, into art objects, actually. 
And step four was waste collection at the campus. And step five was waste to art exhibition and seminars. Here you see the waste collection event day and the students or environmental engineering department analyzed the materials collected on the waste collection day here. How much of them is plastics, glass, metal, and so on. And you see, these are the contributions. Here in that picture, some primary school students prepared picture and brought to our event. Here you see some instruments made by music students. And they also played those instruments that day, based into instruments. Here we have a wish tree, and our rector is signing, writing his wish, and he will put it to the wish tree here. Here you see, these are wood waste actually, and, uh, and the art students made this sculpture from wood waste. Here are some students, this is a student club, and they are making experiment at the launch, how to obtain hydrogen from waste aluminum, they say. And this picture is from the conference hall. We made, many, many professors made uh, seminars on waste reduction, waste management, and so on that day. This is our another project about seed balls for the environment. First step was inviting the local community to participate in our project. We asked them, asked them to collect the seeds, the remaining seeds, after consumption of the fruits they eat. Step two was asking them to bring the seeds to our collection point at the university. And in step three, we made a workshop for making seed balls from the seeds. And step four was scattering all those seed balls. Here you see some pictures from the workshop seed balls for the environment. You see how local people make seed balls. These are our students and university managers here. You see here, there are students making seed balls. This was the workshop day. And this was another day. After making those seed balls, we organized an event for scattering them at the empty spaces at the campus area. You see the seed balls here. And we went through our seed balls to the empty spaces and we are expecting them to become a tree one day. This is our another project, a traditional one, name is Evolve for the Environment, and you see all the campus community, the local residents, and our partners were invited to the event. And this year we also made an opening ceremony for the bicycle station. We had new bicycle station partnering with district municipality that day. And you see, uh, giving their message, their students message about environment, they say. This was a vote for the environment. And this is another project of our university about ecological gardens. This aims, this project aims to bring the university staff and their families together with soil, plants and nature. And the university staff and their families can own a garden here and plant their own vegetables, flowers, whatever they want here. There are 112 ecological gardens in this area. Each of them is 60 square meters. Students, even the students have one garden, they plant it. The irrigation is supplied here with the harvested rainwater at the university pond with the drip irrigation technique. You see the opening ceremony of this 
ecological gardens. We planted some trees there and many people attended. This is another organization of us. We met with the society. You see here children. He is talking about climate change and sustainability actually. And our students, university students giving message. They are telling here that sustainability is today's problem, not tomorrow's. This is another program of us. It's a certificate program for industry about corporate sustainability expertise. And you see here the pictures of our first graduates. And this is another project uh, as an example to university industry partnership. The rainwater harvest project, uh, it, it necessitates some budget. We agree, but we asked a partner, an industry partner, and they sponsored us uh, for making this rainwater harvest at a building at the campus. And we, we want to increase the numbers of these rainwater harvest projects at the campus. Uh, this meeting was held with uh, the district municipality mayor. I'm showing this picture as an example to contacting and cooperating with partners. We asked the municipality for some bicycle parks at the campus, some fountains, because we want to stop the single-use plastics at the campus, and we, we want to establish a sustainable campus park at the university. And after the meeting, you see here are our bicycle stations, and these are the 17 sustainable development goals, actually. Each bicycle park has those signs to, to remind people about those goals. These pictures belong to our students, Sustainable Campus Student Club, they are. This is another partnership example. With a secondary school, we organized a competition together with the school, we were at the jury. Uh, the competition was uh, to find solutions to water scarcity problem and those students and their families all attended to the event and we underlined water scarcity problem and we need to uh, protect our water. These pictures belong to our preparations for sustainability report. Uh, some volunteers, some private sector partners, they also attend to our meetings uh, for preparing this sustainability report. These are some newspaper news, in mostly at the local media, city level media, and uh, we believe that we are being heard. For conclusions, of course, there are some barriers for sustainability at universities. The top one is financial problems. The second one is lack of understanding among the university population and their resistance to change. We know that. However, there is still so much to do, so much that can be done of course, we know these barriers, but there is still some space to do this. How? By improving the partnership. Establishment of partnership within the society is more valuable than the budget, according to us. Again, our experience showed that awareness raising campaigns did not necessitate an exhaustive budget. The equivalent resources of the university will come, such as shuttles, conference rooms, teachers, and so on. But a leadership at the highest level authority is necessary, and a dedicated sustainability office. Close connection with the students and with city partners and perseverance is necessary. It is challenging to reach the perfect sustainable point we know. 
it will never be perfect. However, anything towards sustainability will be something good. The sustainability or the sustainability project is something to preserve. It is hard to measure the real impact on society, but we know that we are being heard. Thank you for listening.